Maybe you've seen Atlas, the humanoid robot that can run, do backflips, and parkour. Or Spot Mini, the internet's favorite robotic dog, which opens doors for its friends. Yes, every time Boston Dynamics drops a video, the internet has itself a freakout. Its latest release? Spot Mini doing the running man to Uptown Funk. And the reaction online is well deserved. These are some of the most impressive robots on Earth. But can they make the transition from internet stardom to real world? Uh, people seem to love looking at it. I don't know exactly uh, what the fascination is. They don't seem afraid of it. They mostly are drawn to it. But the truth is, these demonstrations don't show typical behavior, but rather the very best performance the robots can muster. It took over 20 tries to get Atlas to do this trick. Once it got the hang of things, though, it could pull it off 90% of the time. And we honestly don't know the full extent of Spot Mini's abilities, because Boston Dynamics is a very secretive company. At the very least, we know that in some of Spot Mini's demos, the robot is remote controlled. But we also know Spot Mini can map environments and then navigate them autonomously, which is a major step forward for robots like this. The core of Spot Mini is its mobility. It can go in a large variety of terrains. It kind of takes care of all the things it has to worry about to keep itself uh, balanced so that if there's a person involved, they can just give it high-level guidance. If there's AI involved, it can give it high-level guidance. And the robot takes care of everything else. So it's a mixture of the mechanical design, which has some clever things done, and the software that let it uh, do that. Spot Mini's design has its roots in a rougher looking robot called Big Dog. And we learned a ton about the role of dynamic control and balance in building that. But it was totally a prototype. Uh, it, it had an, a noisy engine that required lots of continuous maintenance. We were flying by the seat of our pants. Uh, but with, once that started to mature, we did a couple of other projects. We did a big walking robot that could carry 400 pounds, and then we did a fast one called the Cheetah. And we started to see that if you did the right kind of design, you could really have a much more functional, almost product uh, level uh, quadruped. All of that led to the original, larger version of Spot. So Spot had great performance, the best of any uh, robot we'd ever built, uh, and sort of paved the way for then doing a smaller version, which is uh, the Spot Mini. And oh, how far Spot Mini has come. Sensors allow it to automatically keep its balance, even if a human assaults it. And if you pilot it toward an obstacle, it'll redirect on its own. And it has an attachable arm that can move much like a human's. And no, that's not its head, that's its hand. It can rotate, move up and down, and bend at the elbow. It comes equipped with a camera, which might make it good for things like inspecting construction sites when it hits the market next year. Which leads us back to the million dollar question. What is Spot Mini actually good for? For starters, you won't be seeing them in people's homes anytime soon. You know, we're focusing on business to business right now, not on uh, consumers. The world just hasn't seen a machine like this. So Boston Dynamics is relying to a large degree on customers to tell it what works. Well, we've designed Spot to be a customizable platform. Uh, so it's a platform like an Android or even an iOS phone is a platform. Uh, the basic idea is that we're going to provide a set of functionality and then other people, including our own applications groups, will provide both hardware and software that works on that platform to customize it for uh, specific applications. Uh, you know, we don't know what the big successes will be yet, but we're looking at construction, commercial security, uh, some municipal security, entertainment. Which might get you thinking that a robot like Spot Mini will steal your job. But at least in the near term, the machines are more likely to supplement human labor, not replace it. And yes, Spot Mini will continue to wow us all online, but it's the market that will determine its future. So if you've been looking for a dance instructor that never gets tired, now's the time to speak up. 